Hey, this is Ronald Carroll from Mad Skills University, and today we're going to talk about transitions that are in PR that we can easily do in Filmora. And I saw a video that garnered over a million views, and I saw his 2020 and 2022 video, and we're talking about over 1.5 million views, and these are the transitions that PR is touting, but we can do those in Filmora. Pan the right, pan left. Rotate right, rotate left. Camera shakes, and we're not talking about violent shakes, just a small shake. Chromatic aberration. We're used to exaggerating this in our videos, but that's not how they do it. Tilt up and tilt down. And of course, zoom in and zoom out. But in 2022, they added zoom throughs as well as light leak and fade to black transitions. We're gonna show you how to do all that in for more. And it's not going to be perfect, and you can play with the settings, but this is pretty simple to do. Let's start with pan right and pan left. So I provided you with all the assets needed for these lessons, or you can use your own. I bring the two down. I'm going to mark it here and delete this part. I usually lock it, the bottom one, the one that I don't want to alter. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and just hit Control or Command plus B as in boy. And I want those to overlap because when the transition takes place, I don't want to lose any of the video. What I did here is went down and just grabbed a simple row number 7. I reduced the timing of duration to 1 second. And this is what you get. If it's faster, just go ahead and put a dissolve on it. And you can do that and play with the settings, but this is the exact same thing of what they call pan right and pan left. For pan left, simple roll number six. We're going to rotate this right and left. I use warp zoom five. You can also try warp zoom four to go the other way. Simple camera shape. So we're going to put chaos here. But the difference is we're going to end up toning all these down to 0.10. Here it is at 2.0 in terms of frequency, but take that down. So think of 10, 10, 10, 0. And this is a simple camera shake. Now we're used to over exaggerating these things, but this is what it's used in Hollywood as well as in professional editing. Try Chaos 2 or Chaos 1 and just tone it down. Chromatic aberration. Take it down to 10, even 0 0.05. Because this works really good at night with a lot of different lights. Tilt up, tilt down. Pretty simple as well. So as we go over here, we can use simple roll number eight or number four. You can try number one because one goes like faster than the other. But just play around with these simple roll combinations and you'll get the same effect as you tilt up or tilt down. It's hard to keyframe this unless you reduce the size of the video, but I do have a link below on how to do that and keyframe something like this if you have a 4K video. You can also try flip roll four or simple roll 12. There's up and there's down. You'll see those in the transitions. But all that stuff is here. Flip roll one, five, simple, nine, And that's how that will look. Zoom in, zoom out. Normally this will be done to a person's face and then zoom back out. And this is not a high quality video, but I just want to give you an idea of how that will look. So you just want to go into crop and zoom, pan and zoom. And then we're going to go ahead and end down here, bring it down. So we have the zoom in, so we're going to cut that. And now we're going to duplicate that and we're going to go to the other side and we're going to flip it here where we start here and then zoom back out. So now we put those two videos side by side and we have something like this. Those were the top 10 transitions in PR that garnered over a million views. In the 2022 version, they brought in zoom through or zoom into or whatever. And a lot of people do that again in their videos and stuff in Hollywood. So here I'm going to take the video. I'm going to do a snapshot, bring it back in. And I could do it off her face, but she's not moving that much. 
but I'm just trying to show you quick, easy transitions that will make your videos look a lot better. So go ahead and pan and zoom on this. I'm gonna go into her eye. And I'm sure most of you know how to do this. Now we bring down the second asset. We want to cut that there. And since she's standing still, I won't do a snapshot. I'll just go ahead and zoom into her eye. So we'll cut that. And then we'll go ahead and go into pan and zoom. And we'll flip that and we'll start in her eye and go back out. And normally I will put some kind of blur on here. I'm just trying to show you a quick way to do these transitions. And you can, I'm sure, add more detail to it. We're going to go with worm hole number three. And shorten that up so you get rid of some of that blur. And here's what it's going to look like. So again, for a quick, kind of cool transition, that's what we're trying to do. The other one they put on here is light leaks transition. So it's another asset I provided for you. You can bring that down. We're going to cut this one about right here. We don't need all of that. We'll bring those two together and we'll cut that one right there. And now I want to go to the end where right there, I want to zoom into that white spot. So let's cut that there on both sides here and just go ahead and do what we know how to do. So go to pan and zoom, let's go to the end here and make it smaller and go right to that white spot. Go to the other side and let's start from the sun and come out. Very easy to do, it takes you a couple of seconds, but it makes your videos look a lot better. And again, you can perfect this, I'm just trying to do it uh, relatively quickly. Now this is how that will look. The dark fade, I did this way better in my nine seamless transitions below video. So if you want to see this done better, check that out. But this one I kind of rushed it a little bit, but I think you'll get the point. So I have two videos here. And I want to add on some effects, so I added on VHS distortion, which I do a lot to horror type of trailers. I want to dial that down. I also put on dirty film. There's other things you can put on here too, so play around with it. Now it's just to copy that effect, just control or command plus alt and four option for C as in cat. This is a pretty cool effect. It's better when some someone's head moves, but try this one as well. Let's cut that. So we have this. And my goal is to go into the black to the right and then have the guy kind of pop up. And I'm not going to do this like I normally do perfectly, but I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now I'm going to use Simple Roll 7. I'm going to end up putting that to the right in the, on the second video. We're going to speed bump this. We want it to be like a quick turn to your right. And again, I'm doing this quick, but I have a better video link below on how to do this more in detail. All I'm going to do is bring in three different sections of black and then just lower the opacity and slowly bring it up to black. Move that over there, right? And that's how we want him to pop up. So let's shorten that. And then we'll duplicate it. Three, two other times, now we have three. So this should be almost all black. So as you can see, the first one's normal. Then the opacity kind of goes up more and more, 44%, right? And now we go to pan and zoom because what I want to do is as I'm walking toward the end here is I want to look to the right or kind of go off to the right and then this guy pops up. And I'm doing this fast but again I there is a link below to when I did with more detailed. If you guys have a better way to do this please share with us and anything I'm doing because we're all trying to get better. So kind of like that. So that's it. Hope this helped you. Thank you very much. Get mad skills here and stay creative.